Hi, it's Janelle McClarty again, and welcome back to the Shopify for Beginners course. In this section, we're going to be looking over important elements to look for when selecting your theme. In the previous section, we went over where to actually find the themes on Shopify. So we went through the theme library and we see the free themes in this area and the free and premium themes <clears throat> in this area. So I'm going to open up a theme so that we can go through important elements to look for with a visual. So let's open up this free theme right here called Boundless. And we're going to view the demo. So the first important element to look for when selecting a theme is the simplicity and ease of use. So this theme looks super simple and super easy to use. If you are a man, you know to click men to see items that you're looking for in that section. If you're a woman, you know to go here. Sales, if you're looking for a sale, it's just one easy click right on the home screen. Um, and I like that this theme has just a shop now button for, let's say it's most most urgent or most usable um, demographic. So simplicity is key and this looks super simple and super straight to the point. You can just click on the home screen and start shopping. Um, another thing to look for that is very, very important is the responsiveness of the website. And more importantly than that is the mobile responsiveness. So that means, is this website easily responsive and transferable and usable on a mobile device? Which, as you know it, a lot of people, or more, more people now, are using their phones to shop online and browse online. So to check the mobile responsiveness of any of the themes on Shopify, you would just hover over this top bar area. Right now it is in desktop preview mode, and then we go over here to mobile preview mode. And it will show you how the site would look on a mobile device. And this looks amazing. It looks very clean. So that is another advantage and important element to look for when selecting a theme. Um, it is the mobile responsiveness of the theme. So let's say you were looking at another theme um, not on your computer and on your you want to look at it on your actual device. I would take this link and email it, text it, WhatsApp it to yourself and open it on your phone and it will come out exactly like this, but you can just see it in your hands live view. Um, another thing to look for in terms of elements when selecting a theme are the reviews for that theme. So to see the reviews, let's go back. We're going to go back to the actual theme store. We're going to click on the theme. And when you scroll down beyond features, you're going to see the reviews section. So this theme has 52% positive reviews um, out of 25 reviews. 25 reviews isn't much, but 52% isn't really that great. And you can read through and see, okay, what were some product problems that they should work on. So it says, please resize product image. It's too big. So the resizing looks like it could be a problem. Who knows? But just read through the reviews. Um, I want to take a look at another theme. Um, let's see, Palo Alto. Let's see how their reviews look. So we have 152 positive, 96% positive reviews on this theme. So that's pretty good. So looking at the reviews of a theme is another foolproof way to um, make sure you're selecting the right theme. Okay, and then let's see the last 
thing I would look for that's really important, an important element, is the suitability for your content. So let's say you picked, um, I'm going to pick a theme right now. Let's say you pick the simple theme right here. I'm going to go back. We're going to actually open up the demo so you can see it. Okay, we're going to pick this one, label. So let's say if we're looking at themes, we see this, it catches our eye, it looks amazing. It's called record, it has nice colors, it has this big area right here, it has its releases right there, merchandise here. It even has a news, a blog area, so this is, this is great. But what if you're selling only one product? And what if you do not need a blog? What if it's supposed to be really simple and not all these bells and whistles? You don't have any merch. You do not have any releases. You literally have one product to sell. And you probably want to feature it here and have a shop button. So your content that you have may not match this theme, even though the theme looks really pretty. Maybe you may need something more simplified and straight to the point so that people can just see your one product right here and click on the shop button, shop now button as soon as they log in and not get distracted by all this additional content areas that you may not need and why pay $180 for a theme that just looks beautiful but doesn't fit the content that you're providing. So those are the main important elements I'll look for when selecting a theme. So I'll go over it again. Um, so I'm looking for the suitability for your content. That is the theme that you chose suitable for the content that you need to display. Um, I would also look for the reviews. So does this theme have good reviews? 100% positive reviews and I would read through even if it was 90% or 80% it's still good I would just read through okay what are the bad points and can I possibly live with that um, and nothing's perfect so just because this says 100% it doesn't mean that it's a perfect theme for you um, another thing to look for is the mobile responsiveness as we said before um, you would click on that top button at the top of the preview demo mode to see okay how does this phone look in mobile view and it looks if it still looks beautiful then it's good for you um, and then simplicity is key so try to avoid going and looking at all the bells and whistles that may come with a theme and all the color schemes and just just the bells and whistles and keep it as simplified as possible um, and make sure it's suitable for your content. All right, so that is it for this section. Um, in the next section, we'll actually be going over how to set up a product. So stay tuned for that. And thank you very much for watching um, this Shopify for Beginners tutorial. Thanks. And thank you very much for watching this section of the Shopify for Beginners tutorial.